Hello and welcome inside the Orange County Register offices here in Anaheim. I'm freelance video journalist Jonathan Camus being joined by Steve Fryer. Steve, how were the games yesterday? Uh, fun. I was at the uh, Foothill El Toro game. It was really good. A lot of drama. Uh, Kyle Ashworth hits the home run and uh, to win the game for Foothill and Foothill advances. A couple teams uh, lost in Division One. We'll start off with Division One. El Toro and Huntington Beach eliminated. Huntington Beach, a heartbreak for them. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. For First of all, Steve, let's talk Cyprus at Bishop Amat, this quarterfinal matchup. Cyprus defeating Hart 4 to nothing. They scored four runs in the sixth inning. Josh Landry uh, back uh, at his form, it looks yeah. like, with a complete game, only allowing one hit, Steve. Meanwhile, Amat beating Valencia 3 nothing. Yeah, uh, really interested about Cyprus. Josh Landry pitched on uh, Friday yeah, at Cyprus. Didn't look so good. Got pulled early in the third inning. Uh, Landry, big left-hander. Uh, I think he's one of those kids that's got a lot of upside. His, his athletic highlights might not be happening at the high school level as good as he is. He's one of those kids that down the road, Josh Landry might be a name we're all going to want to remember someday. Yeah, he's definitely got some fire in those eyes. Okay, next game, La it's either going to be La Mirada or Etiwanda. Yeah. As we're taping this right now, uh, the game has not played yet. So um, they're going to play against Foothill. Foothill, like you mentioned, Steve, uh, a, a great win against El Toro, 2-1. to one. So let me get this straight. If La Mirada wins, Friday's game's at La Mirada. Right. Now, if Etiwanda wins, it will be a Foothill home game. Correct. What do you like about Foothill? Uh you got to like a team that's coached by such veteran guys. First of all, Vince Brown, the head coach, and Ira Novick, the pitching coach who's been around for decades. Both those guys have. Uh, and so it starts there. Really calm influence both those guys have on, on the whole team, which you've got to have right now. But they got guys who can play. We mentioned Kyle Ashworth, who's a thoroughbred of a player. Uh, mm -hmm. Two really good pitchers. They had uh, Torica, uh, who finished up yesterday, and Sean Higgins, who's also a good hitter, and Torica's a good hitter too. So they've got, and they field really well. They play Errorless ball yesterday. Uh, very complete team, and they won the championship of the Crestview League, which year in, year out, and again this year, really good baseball league. Next, Gar at Orange Lutheran. Orange right. Lutheran beat Corona 5-3. to three. Max Radic, he pitched, and he also had three hits. He's been right. doing this all year, Steve. I mean, he's he's a great two-way player, and Gar beat Miracosta 2-1. to one. Uh, Hey, what teams has Gar beaten from Orange County? They've beaten some good ones, including Santa Margarita, El Toro, and Jay Serra. So they are no joke. No, Gar is really good. Uh, they're having a, a fine year. Orange Lutheran, uh, three really good pitchers. You mentioned Max Radic. Uh, uh, Christian Rodriguez really good. And then a guy that we're looking at for County Player of the Year possibilities is Cole Wynn. Mm -hmm. Hits the heck out of it. Leads the team in RBIs. Wonderful pitcher. He's got a zero point. I think, I think it's a 0 0.23 ERA. So he, he's really good too. Orange Lutheran is a team that I picked to win Division I championship. And so far, so good. Yep, and uh, finally in Division One, it's Dos Pueblos at Capistrano Valley. Capo beat South Hills three to two. Josh Solomon delivered a walk-off hit in the seventh, and uh, Dos Pueblos, Steve, they beat Huntington Beach, a heartbreaker for the Oilers. They went down six to five in eight innings. Evan Kling hit a grand slam in the seventh to tie it, and Huntington Beach, uh, uh, the number one uh, ranked team in Orange County, right, Steve? They go down in the uh, second round. But with all the all the things we talked about, we could have an all OC semifinal. We'll see. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Capistrano Valley, Bob Zamora's got uh, what 750 wins or something like, like that now. Uh, he's been around since <laughs> for a long time over there. Uh, Goose Awender, you know, his right hand man, great coach as well over there. Uh, they've got pitching too. I really like Matt Komnos on that team, a guy we're going to be looking at for the All Orange County team, which we got to be thinking about real soon. Uh, pitching really well. They beat uh, South Hills three to two. Then earlier they beat Palm Desert four to nothing. So two runs given up in in two Division One baseball games. You got good pitching. Absolutely. Okay, it's not all about Division One. Let's go to Division Two, where three Orange County teams fell in the second round. That's Tesoro, CDM, and Fountain Valley. Great season, guys. But uh, baseball, like we've talked about for many years, Steve. It's the toughest sport to win in the postseason. And uh, Beckman is actually the last OC team standing. They will be at Calabasas. Beckman beat Rio Mesa, Steve, 10-4. to They had a six-run seventh inning, and uh, we heard that name last week, and we'll hear it again. Matt McClain, he had a bases-clearing triple. Yeah, Matt mclean has been a starter at Beckman since his freshman year. Going to UCLA, fantastic player, great infielder as well. And the thing about Beckman, too, 18 runs over two playoff games, and, and, and both both those games, like you mentioned, big run innings, uh, you know, they just 
explode. And like Coach uh, Kevin Laval said, they're like sharks. You know, they smell blood in the water and they just go. So Beckman is really tough. Uh, number one seed in that division and playing like it. Okay, on to Division 5, where this might be the best story in all of the playoffs, Steve. Sunny Hills, you have the stats on them. I'll, I'll leave that to you. Right. They're the last Orange County team standing in Division 5. They will be at Malibu High School. Um, you know, put the windows down on the bus, guys. You'll get some nice, cool breeze there. Yeah. Um, Sunny Hills defeated Southlands Christian 2 to nothing. Malibu beat Rim of the World 4 nothing. But Sunny Hills, what a story, Steve. Well, what a story, because they started the season 0-6. And at one point of the season, they were one and ten they finished seven and eight in the freeway league third place just barely get in but then all of a sudden there they go Arlie Kearney's their head coach he's been our coach of the year in the past because he's really good so this team is bad their team batting average is 272 not that great not that great it's good for me I can't even hit the Mendoza well, yeah, 172 would be wonderful for me Jonathan so I feel you there but uh, and also their team ERA is 3.09 not sizzling either so you know they're just winning games when they need to win games they they you know won enough to get into the playoffs and here they go and th we've seen this stuff from Sunny Hills before in baseball years ago in basketball they won a CAF title where they were like you know, a third place team again and just went crazy. I don't know what happens at Sunny Hill sometimes where teams barely make the playoffs and all of a sudden, boom, they wake up and they just go crazy. They got a couple really good two-way players, Luis Garza and Enoch Kim. Okay. So, and those guys, sometimes you just need, you know, one or two really good players who get on the mound and pitch lights out. You're playing two games a week and Kim and Garza have been delivering that for the Lancers so far. If they keep going, like you said, great story. We talked about last week how I'm freelancing now, so I'm free to... Root for teams. So go Lancers! All right, that's Calm Steve Fryer. Down. That's Steve Fryer. I'm getting a little excited. Okay, it's still okay. early in the morning, but what morning. are you going to do? It's yeah. healthy. All right. Thanks to Steve Fryer. I'm Jonathan Camus. We'll be all over the games at uh, the quarterfinals and the semifinals. And uh, make sure to check out ocvarsity.com where we have all the baseball coverage. Thank you for watching.